Fish? Yeah. First cast. <laughs> oh. Oh. A little bit of size there, right? That's a go. A couple of head shakes there. So, I know you guys probably can't see a great deal there. This is the first cast, not a bad way to start the session. Oh, I'm getting hit too. I just got welted back. Oh, I got belted as well. He's giving you some, Jimmy. He's waking up now, mate. Got those head shakes. Well, guys, we haven't even done an intro yet. It's dark, <laughs> pre-dawn, and, oh, it's a nice fish. You can give him a bit of, bit of drag if you want, because you do want to want to avoid the tax man. Colour work, mate. Worked very well. Are you getting some back on him? Yeah, getting a little bit. Just... Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh. Well, guys, there's uh, a bit going on. A bit going on. Haven't even introduced Jimmy yet, but... Uh, look, you're about to see him. <laughs> Hopefully with a fish. Hopefully. <laughs> well, he's coming up. This is going to be a cracker, I think. An absolute cracker. I don't think he's far away now. Just keep up him. Just get ready if he wants to go around the boat. Yeah. Now, we're testing a bit of new gear today, guys. And um, I am very happy to say this is the first caster. This is the first caster. Might even give Jimmy a bit more light there. Oh, I can see him. That's a belter. It's a really nice fish. That's a belter. That is a belter. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> is an absolute a snodger. Look at that. Oh. Holy snappers. <laughs> well, holy snappers indeed. Jimmy Pearson. How good. <laughs> Welcome to a Sammy Hitsky fishing adventure. Thanks for having me, mate. How good. Whoa! <laughs> that is an absolute cracking way to start the day. Mate, grab that out of the net. My knees are shaking. I don't know where to go. Well, guys, while he's dealing with that, I thought I might start the show. Welcome to another Sammy Hitsky fishing adventure. You're joining me out very early. It's pre-dawn, and I've got Jimmy Pearson from the Brisbane Bulls slash Brisbane Heat with me today. We're doing a bit of soft plastic fishing. We might even chase a bit of squid later on. First cast of the morning. Haven't even done the intro, as you would have seen. Jimmy's on the board, and have a go at that belting fish. That is a really, really nice snapper. That'd be getting up there towards 70 centimetres, if not a bit over. Mate, I don't even know. This is your show now. Stoked, you do mate. the talking. How about that? Unreal. First drop and that plastic absolutely hammered on the drop there. So, oh man, my knees are shaking still. <laughs> <laughs> so we are using a bit of new gear today, guys. We've got some of the Molex range of soft plastics, the RT forks. And um, look, so far they are doing the job right in the corner of the mouth. That's the pilchard colour. We did have a little chat before the first cast. We've all got a different colour on. I said, go the pilly. I reckon it might, might go all right. And look, first cast, that's a, that's a big win. Unreal. How mate, worth, worth the early start? Absolutely, mate. How good, I can't believe it. First drop, seriously. <laughs> that is a cracking snapper. Little pan through. Lovely, How lovely. Good. How good. Now, Jimmy, you did say you do love a feed of fish. And uh, I think this guy, he's an ingredient. I think he's ours, yeah, why not? He, he's going to come home for a little chat about the barbecue later on. Um, yeah, well, I don't think you can start a video any better than that. Hopefully it continues to go like this. Anyways, guys, let's deal with this guy and get back in the water. Well, there you go. That is a... What are you, 75? 75, yeah. Yep. 75 centimetres of first car snapper. <laughs> How good. Can't believe it. Typical corner of the mouth hook up there. That's a. Uh, that's I don't even know the names of these, but I'm going to call it a little pilchard. <laughs> I'll tell you the names later once I figure it out. But uh, that works. We might bleed this guy and get him straight on the ice. Well, that's a pretty bloody good start, guys. We'd um, just sounded over a school of bait, and there was a couple of nice arches under it. And I was still buggering, buggerizing around with the uh, camera. Jimmy snuck a cast out the side, first cast fish on. Now while I was filming, 
I got hit on the drop as well. So with a bit of luck, there's a few active fish around. As you can see by that sunrise, beautiful time in the morning, bit of pre-dawn. That is when you want to be out here, particularly on these uh, shallower water snaps. This is uh, their hunting time. So hopefully his mates want to come out and play as well. Do it again, Jimmy. Double hook up. Double hook up. <laughs> well, I don't know if you can see Jimmy's on in the background as well. We've got a double hook up. Good fish. Oh, my guy hasn't really woken up yet. Now he has. Oh. All right, back camera's on you, Jimmy. I don't think mine's massive, but he's having a go. Oh, he's he's having a bit of a dig. I just marked that same school of fish on the sounder. Up you come there, mate. Up you come. That was on the drop. I think I gave it a test flick halfway up. And then... And then Jimmy goes, oh, I'm on. And while I was turning around trying to have a look at him, Lawrence started buggering out through me... Buggering, I shouldn't say that. Whizzing out through me fingers. And... I was on as well. Haven't even had the time to talk to you guys about the gear yet. Too busy catching, which is always a good problem to have. How are you going over the back there? there you having a win? Yeah, I think I'm getting back here. Excellent. Oh, that's another cracking quality fish. Are you ready for a net? Yeah, oh, there's one. <laughs> <laughs> Get in the net, there's two. Well, mate, some days are diamonds, and I reckon this is one of them. <laughs> this is one of them. <laughs> they say early bird gets the worm, and in this case, couldn't find any worms, but we'll deal with some snapper. Two belters, mate. You might be covering this one, I reckon, Sammy. That's a good fish, mate. It's a real nice fish. What's, um, what is that? How many casts have you had today? Two. Just the two? Two, yeah. Just the two. I didn't read about it. I've had, I've had one and a half. I missed the first one, but I wasn't really paying attention. One and a half, we'll call it. But, uh, I think we're doing pretty well. We might have to do a bit of a double hold up here. And there you go, there's my little addition to the scorecard. Absolutely woofed that. That's the six inch RT4 Flex. Uh, it's coming up the goods. I don't want to talk too much because I know the bite is red hot at the moment. I'm actually going to let this guy go. I'm pretty flush for fish at the moment. Very lucky to have a fair bit on the tap. So this guy's going to go straight back. But he would be getting close to that uh, high 60s, maybe nudging 70, maybe. I don't think so. Probably high 60s. Really nice quality fish and he had a good go too. But we'll pop these hooks out and get him back. Oh, he was going absolutely nowhere. <sighs> In he goes. Yeah, he's keen. He's ready. Right on, mate. And off to the depth he goes. That's two drifts, three fish. It is going off. Jimmy, mate, we're having a bit of camera dramas, but that's all right. We've still got your fish here, and I think you'll see mine on head cam, which is not too bad. But, mate, that's second cast for you. Second cast, Sammy. Yeah, two drops, two fish. Can't ask for much more than that. Crack and start in the morning, hopefully a few more to come. Beautiful little fish. Sun's coming up, let's get back down there. So that's what we're dealing with guys, that's what we've been seeing on the sounder. That is money. Uh, although we haven't had another touch off them, we have done this drift, this will be our third time doing this drift, so they might be getting a bit sick of us, but that's all right, because we can always pick another line. Now, you may see I uh, may have gone greedy Sam Speck. I've got old Rodney Rodholder having a go as well. I've just got the uh, the 5-inch fork flex 
on there just wafting and I'm fishing the six in the hand and Jimmy's on a six as well little bit of camera drama early on but I think I've ironed it out it might be a dodgy SD card bit of the old video cannot be viewed a few people suffering from that disease at the moment that's the plastic This will be something for Lager. That's all right. I'm all stopping now. There you are. I'm curious why you're that, mate. I'm not sure I'm stopping this, brother. 15 pound gear. How's the bloody confidence about him? Uh, You'll stop him. He's not designed for this. We got all day. <laughs> Endurance athlete like yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we might need to start the motor here, guys. I think so. Uh, we might be here for a little while. <laughs> The call was to uh Ooh, he's having a bit of a go. The call was that we should uh I was like, oh yeah, might do another drift here. Halfway up. Thanks for coming. Jimbo is on again. Oh dear. Mate, I think cricket is wasted on you. Oh, mate, don't, don't start that. Plenty of bad days. <laughs> Hopefully going in the corner of the mouth and not near his Well, you're in it so far. Yeah. I got a, I think it was like a seven or so kilo Spanish on a um, bait jig. Oh, that's just good on a spun, that is. <laughs> Who needs coffee when you've got oh, screaming drags? He's a nice fish. I reckon this might be a Spanish. Spanish are a nice big tuna, but he's not doing tuna. He's not really doing tuna things, but... Who knows? Just take him nice and easy. Might even be a Cobes. We've got all day, Jim. We've got all day. We've got all day. I probably should have come more prepared for this, but... Stapper fishing was the call and well some would call this just heavy brim gear. I'd definitely chase a flathead on what you're using. Oh you got Oh no! Oh, I knew it. Chose no. Gone. Give us a little look see. Oh. It wasn't your all bright, that's alright. <laughs> Ladies and gents, I don't know if that'll focus for you, but as clean as a whistle, sharp as a thistle. Spanish mackerel. Would have liked that one to be honest. Oh, <laughs> Looked to be a nice fish too, and that was just cranking in that plastic top speed. That's what Mackies do, they'll see it going flying past their face. Game on. We should have bought the Mackie gear, could have bought some Taylor. All good, a snapper on the chew. All good. Back to business, back to business. Jimmy on the re rig. Oh, he's going back to Old Faithful. How could you blame him? How do you wonder? That's right, isn't it? three drifts, three fish, or two and a half, two and a hook up. Good. That last one, eh? It's alright. I think we're still having a pretty decent morning by fishing standards. Are you happy? I think so. Let's check. He's done well. He's done very well. Okay. Send it. Okay. Now guys, we will go through the gear we're using very shortly because I want to show you these plackies. They were working a treat this morning but we just want to strike while the iron's hot and see if we can put the pins in a few more fish. Just thought I'd quickly go through a bit of the technique. What we're doing is we're casting out just ahead of the boat there, not exactly right angles, but a bit forward. We're letting that plastic sink down. We're both fishing at either side of the boat as we're drifting through. Now that's allowing the plastics to sink down. And a lot of these snapper, well, the, the first one, they're picking it up either on the drop or after the first little flick so they're quite actively feeding just got to be ready for them feed them a bit of line and jam those hooks home we are ma oh here we go rodney rodney 
And that's why you have a Rodney rod holder. <laughs> He's just wafting away, doing his thing. He's a, um, I actually had a slightly smaller plucky on here. And we just went over to school and we missed him with the two bigger fish. This one doesn't feel massive. But he's having a little bit of a go. Yeah, right. Nah, he would be right, I think. This might not be a snapper, is it? Oh, he's gone too. That might have been another mackerel. I don't know what that was. Like up. Yeah, he, he started out, out a bit snappery and then he um, turned non-snappery real quick. That's a weight there. Well, so far our problem's not hooking fish, it's landing them. <laughs> we got three in and then... Uh, teeth? I, I reckon so, I'm missing a jig head, yeah. which I will invoice him for. Unless he got me in the bottom, because that's a whole lot there. Oh, there's fish on the sander. Now, either my knot's pulled, which I think you'd get, nah. Look, I'd love to blame it on a knot, but unfortunately, guys, that looks like it's hit the bottom. You'll see there's like a staggered bit of an edge there. It kind of tapers off, so that's, I'd say it hit the bottom, which is odd. I don't know what that was. That fought weird. Had it not run me in the bottom, would have said another mackerel or a pelagic, but who knows? What I do know is now I've got to re-rig. Just having a little re-rig session for the Rodney Rod Holder Rod. For those wondering, using a half ounce jig head uh, 6.0 hook, you could use a 7.0 with a 6 inch plastic as well. A little loop knot there. Right, oh, now the star of the show. These guys here, this is a six inch Molex RT Fork Flex. Acid pink is the color I'm gonna give a try. I've been using pearl. Is it called pearl? Pearl white, yes. Jimmy's on pilchard, I was right. Another color I haven't tried yet is UV clear chart multicolor flake. That's a long winded name, but geez, that looks sexy. But Rodney, He's going to get a bit of acid pink. Now these guys, first thing you'll notice, really nice, soft and supple, and they're quite stretchy. So they're going to last a few fish. That also means they're going to have a really nice action in the water. We'll play around with a bit later on. I want to get this one down there. Now like I always say with any plastics, take the time to get them straight. If you don't get it the first time, no harm in having a second go. Or if you're like me in that one, I just absolutely nailed it. So, look at that, beautiful. That guy can get sent straight out. Now these are also salt impregnated. Oh, might position that hook just back a touch. Tail wasn't kicking. Jimmy! On the drop. That's better, look at that tail go. That is a big school of something. Gonna need a second rod out there for this. It's all happening. There's a big school of something. Jimmy just got belted. And I'm talking about buddy rigging plastics properly. Hard to catch fish while you're doing that. Got him? So. Yes, nicely done. Yeah, not not a little snappy though. Little little head nods. Oh, is he going to wake up or is he? No, I don't know. He might just be a little snappy. That one, little. Gentle this one. Yeah. Probably more your style with the old buddy brim gear. <laughs> I'm ready for this one. You are all geared up for that one. 
Pilchard. Pilchard's killing it. Hey. I'm usually a big pearl man. Oh, a little panty. Very little panty. It's all right. He can get. He'll get his little bit of fame. He wouldn't even be legal, but if you caught that in a brim comp and painted it silver, you'd be happy with it. My special undersized fish. That. <laughs> See, that's a six-inch plastic, guys, and that is a about a seven-inch fish. <laughs> oh, Here Rodney! Yes. Yeah. Yes. And I'm on to. Yeah, can you hold that? Uh. That's a bit more weight. That, That's got a bit of weight. Rodney's doing me job for me. Oh, he was on the bottom already. Oh! I could feel that rubbing on the bottom then not quick enough. Stings. Yeah, look, that's two now, two in a row. Um, we're, we're really struggling. It's all right. That's all right. We live. Righto. You deal with your fish, I'll get a re-rig again. I don't know how well it'll show up on camp or oh, touch. I don't know how well it'll show up on camera, but we've got some weird ocean fog about to uh, engulf us. Now, I'm not often very forthcoming with my... Sp oh, that was another touch. Forthcoming with my spots, but I'll give you one opportunity to get a landmark for this area. And uh, there you go. There you go. That's all you get. If you can't work it out from the haze, then... Look, you'll never work it out. Yes, Jimmy. Uh, bait there. That's a good fish too. We just lost the back camera. That's all right. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> I got your head cam styles. It's a good take that. It's a real nice take. That's a good snapper with the weight with that. Yep. He's doing all the snapper things. Now I don't even. I don't want to put my rod down until that thing's on the surface. Yeah, he's doing all the right things. Yeah, I reckon you just got eaten by a shark. Yeah, I like this one too. Yeah, definitely. Don't pop him just yet. But, yeah, is he? Is he what's he doing? Did you see that big dunk? Yeah, that looked very sharky. We're not having a win here at all. He might let go, hopefully. Yeah, you can, you can lock him up if you want. Bastard. Well, we're in the middle of the fog now. We're getting the second crack at the dawn bite. Low light. <laughs> Low light, get the bite. Pretty bizarre. It's like 7.30 and it's now kind of dawn again, but hopefully it brings fish on. There's Mackie number two. Right at the top there. Rod's right there, eh? Interesting. Good. That's him. That's him. Oh, he's a good one. I'm going to turn up as much as I don't want to. I'm going to turn up the heat a bit on this guy because we're having a bit of trouble getting him. Oh, he's a nice one. Just want to get him past the sharks and all away from the bottom. That was a textbook eat. Oh. That was a textbook eat. Flicked it up off the bottom. On the free spool, he smoked it. He's coming. Oh. Come on, there he is. There's a bit of colour. I don't think you'll beat yours this morning, but 
He's a he's another nice one. You ripper! We had a bit of a dry spell, didn't we? <laughs> bit of a dry spell. That is a belter. And doesn't that look good in the morning sun? He smoked that on the drop. Textbook snapper bite. That is beautiful. That's a really nice fish. He'd be mid 60s as well. He's got the start of a nice big knob on his head, as Jimmy said earlier. Nice knob on him. Below average knob on me. That's all right. We're all smiling. That's a lovely fish. I went back to Pearl. Had to do it after that spano snapped me off, uh, bit me off. Had to go back to Pearl. Come up with the goods. Beautiful fish. Like I mentioned, guys, I'm pretty flush for fish, so this guy can go back as well. Corner of the mouth. Get him back in. Oh. Quicks. Oh, he's ready to go. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes! Yeah, see when it's like that, that's not snapper. That's all bait, eh? That's all like, you got bait and fusiliers and stuff. What you're looking for is like, that shit that's sitting away from it. Right. Like, oh, oh, um, they're like these guys. Yeah, yeah. 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 Got him. <laughs> He's a nice one. He's having a dig. Oh. You're all right, mate. Keep fishing. I think he's going to be around that same sort of size class. He he hit it well, but he he hasn't gone on with it like the bigger ones. He will do. He will definitely do. Thanks for coming. We're on a roll now. Put me to shame, mate. Oh, you had me first. First drift. Had to get some back on you. He ran straight in the bottom, that guy. Check out his head. He did not want to be caught. Mate, you keep casting because I'm looking at a school of bait on the sander and I think there might be some more around here. That's a really nice school sized fish. He had a great little uh, first run in him and then we managed to get on top of him, but. If you have a look at his head there, he's uh really wasn't keen on coming up there. He's running himself head first into the uh into the bottom. Bit of claret, but that's just out of the hook wearing. He'll be right. I'm just gonna spear him straight back in. See you mate. Away he goes. Well guys, that was a pretty awesome little morning snapper session there. The uh the bite has definitely tapered off. We had a few more inquiries, but nothing's too serious. They're getting really tentative, sun's getting pretty high in the sky. But I'm not disappointed. You can't be disappointed. I'm stoked, you too. definitely can't be disappointed. We're going to duck in and try and catch some squid. Now, our mates at EJ Todd, they've sent me out some of the new whiz-bang squid jigs, which is awesome because I need all the help I can get. I am by no means a Iggy master. How's your squid skills? Very poor, Sammy. No good at all. Very poor. Excellent. We need all the help we can get, but we are bang up trying to get Operation Seafood Basket underway. We want some squid to go with some snapper. And I don't really know what else to say. We're just going to give it a crack. That's all you can do with squidding. I don't know much about it, but we're going to give it a red hot nudge. Um, anything to add? Let's go, mate. Let's do it. We're out. Now, I'm gonna, not going to pretend I know anything about squidging at all. Very, very limited knowledge. But they definitely look cool. Um, we're going to have a crack at it. about all of them. See which one works. I do want to give this guy a go. This is... I read on the website that this is a good option for beginners or people just getting into squid jigging and that sounds like my cup of tea. You actually put a little bit of bait on the back there so he's going to have a crack soon. I'm going to start small first, see if I can just get on the board. Um, I don't know, they look the goods. Yep, they look like squid jigs. So this is the one I was talking about. I figure... May as well get into it now. It's got a bit of a rubber band going on. Put a strip of mullet on his back. Whoa. Have a go at that. A 
bet you there's some squid jiggers shaking their head at me right now. Couldn't care less. That's awesome. Watch me catch a flathead on it. Ladies and gents, we have a squid on. It's not the Kraken, but it is a Squidward. The mullet, mullet fillet, just go in behind him there. Give him a little scoopy boy. We got one. We got one. Yes. Not a bad little squid either. That's cool. Well, at the risk of getting that all through the boat, we got our first squid. Nice little. Oh. He's, oh. He's really thinking about it. This is very risky, guys. Very risky. But we've got a squid, and it's on the mullet fillet jig. That's what you want. We're gonna we're gonna lift from here. This is a good start. The seafood basket's coming together at the moment. Jimmy's is looking horrible. Mine's looking real good. The old squid shop. Good night. That's alright, that's a bait that is. Mm. We'll take him. Seafood basket. Just put you just do him whole. Well that's the old red and black number. And Whoa. Nice little bait that. How's the colours on him? Unreal. He's only uh whoa. Gonna squirt you? I was hoping he's going to squirt you. <laughs> he's only a tacker, but that's two squid. Two. On We're on the board. Well, guys have struck again. Jimmy just missed one. It looks to be quite a nice one too. But all right, that's three. Could have been four, Jimmy. We might have found a little patch. It's all happening. Ish. Oh. Yes. You see the patch of ink. So all we've done here guys, we're just drifting in these weed ba beds and um, like they're not thick by any stretch of imagination but once we do get one we uh, we just do the old um, spot lock trick. Spot lock it up and then, um, oh he's not hooked, he's just hanging on. Yes. Larry. Yes. Two. We're on a roll. Lift. We're lifting. I love these things here. Well, there's been lifting. Yeah, you got the initial contact. I've since capitalised on your finding. Oh, yes. On again, get a cast in over here. It's happening. That's three. It is the moulay. Patchy, patchy. Yeah. There was three in the net and whatever the song goes. Oh, inky boy. Oh, stay in there. Yeah, we're having some fun. If you've got fish and all sorts of other stuff in your esky, 
keep a couple of Ziploc bags in the boat and that way you can keep them all together they'll inevitably leak, leak some ink and keep everything nice and clean that's five we're getting there unfortunately guys just the five squid landed very very slow on the squid front but at least we got some that's a big win uh, especially with the combined experience between us being near zero uh, the weather has glassed right off so we're going to take the opportunity to rip home uh, do a bit of a fill it up and then after that i'll do a big tackle talk but uh yeah buddy good day how good let's get out of here well ladies and gents not a bad day on the salt and briny time for a beer and do a bit of filling. Here's the result. Fish of the day, 75 centimeter snap, first cast. Well done, well done. Uh, kept another panty for um, the table as well. We end up with five squid. No big ones there, just all kind of small schooly ones. Let plenty of fish go. Had a bloody good time. What a morning. Now guys, while I knock the fillets off these, I think it's time we address the elephant in the room. And that's why Jimmy is out on a boat fishing instead of behind a set of cricket stumps. Mate, what is the go? I thought you were a cricketer. Oh mate, Prove Prove yourself as a fisherman today, apart from squid. Not a squid fisherman. <laughs> not a squid fisherman, no. Oh look mate, it's that time of year where there's not much crickets being played at the moment, so I've always loved my fishing, I love getting out and, and, and getting amongst it and um, got an opportunity to go out with a great man and, and have a look offshore and um, what a great morning we had. So it was an awesome experience to come out and, and see how, uh, how to catch some good sized snapper offshore. And it's just a, something I absolutely love. I wish I could do more of it, well, getting out and, and fishing more. Credit to you, it made me look good today. <laughs> I'll just put you in the right spot and your buddy took the wheel and ran with it. It was good, but you've always been a fisher or? I, I have, mate. I, I've, well, Casual fisherman when I can, like I said, it's sort of one of those things where I'd like to get more and do more of it. But um, you now with crew getting busier throughout the summer and that sort of thing, I probably don't go out as much as I would have liked. But yeah, love, always love my fishing. Um, you know, we're so fortunate here in Brisbane to have such great fishing on our doorstep. And that we are. Um, you know, look at this, this is fantastic. I mean, an and an a bit off on the boat ramp, picking up snapper like this. So very, very fortunate and um, feel very privileged to be able to go out and, and, and do this. What's the go? And what can we expect from uh, cricket this season? Big things? Can, can we give the insiders a bit of a tip? Are the Heat going to win the Premiership this year for the Big Bash? Well, I'll tell you what, one closer from last year, so that'd be nice. Yeah, we um, had a good year last year. We finished up third after a, probably a couple of years where we've underperformed, to be honest. So it's, it, was, it was a good good year to get some success through there. And I know we're, we're all in, on the same page and wanting to go one better next year. So, you know, the mighty Heat um, get us into a final, never know what could happen. So we're, we're all you know, pushing it to get uh, to get there next year. So we are, we're going all in? Oh, yeah. All oh, in. It's about time, we reckon. Yeah, we're due. Yeah. We're due. Well due. Now, Jimmy's got the good bit. He's going to get the fillets. I'm going to take the wings and um, I'm going to cook them up here at home. But he's got to get on his bike and beat this traffic. Lucky enough to be finishing in daylight hours for once. Seeing you know, you've had a good session. Wings out, fillets off, job done. What a day. What a day. That's, that is us done and dusted, but I'll be catching up with you guys very shortly with a tackle tour. We have lots to discuss. Uh, I'll join you then. See you, mate. Thanks for coming. Cheers, Sammy. Join you, mate. Cheers. Cheers. It's that stage of the video, guys. It is time to talk tackle. Uh, a lot to discuss, too, because I haven't actually used a lot of this gear before, so very excited to try it out. Arguably, the star of the show was the RT Fork Flex Soft Plastics by Molex. First impressions, pretty damn good. Now, one thing you'll notice, obviously very supple, very soft, nice and stretchy. Uh, gives them a really good lifelike feel. I reckon when fish grab onto them, that's gonna be pretty cool. Pretty close to what an actual pilchard would feel like and uh, they're not gonna let go. As you saw, a lot of those fish were getting either on the drop where they're picking up and running away with it or first or second hop off the bottom and they come through and grab it as it dropped back down. Now, we caught majority of our fish on the six inch size. Uh, that's them there. Uh, comparison, that is the five inch. Obviously, they're gonna be an inch shorter, but also not as large as a profile in the water. Uh, they're quite a bit slimmer than the six inch. If I was gonna be fishing offshore, I'd go six inch straight away. 
in the bay, I'd probably drop back down to a five inch. But that color there, Pearl, that accounted for most of my fish. Um, actually all of them, I think. But I did get a fair few inquiries on this guy here. This is the one with a super long name. UV Clear Chart Multicolor Flake. Looks awesome in the water, very natural. So I think if they're gonna play hard to get, you got really clear water, something like that would go down a treat. Um, Jimmy, big fan of the pilchard color, that's upside down, but uh, he had a lot of love on that early on. Um, seemed to work fine. Uh, these guys are also impregnated with salt, so they got a bit of flavor, a bit of scent about them as well. Obviously, if you wanna add extra, you can. Um, and then in terms of jig heads, we were fishing in about 35, between 30 and 40 meters of water. 35 was about the average. Uh, we used a 5.8 jig head um, or a one half. Now we used the one half because I ran out of five eighths because we had a bit of bad luck with sharks getting reefed and mackerel, but it worked a treat as well. You'll see that's where the 6.0 comes out on the plastic. I reckon that's pretty good positioning. You could go a 7.0 if you wanted to cover a bit more, but Snapper generally grabbed the head, so I'm not too worried about losing a bit there. The uh, shorter hook also means better action in the tail. And as you saw, when we dragged it through the water, you'd know when it got, you got it rigged exactly right because that tail hammers around, nice little body roll, and they look really good. So very impressed with those. Definitely we'll use them again. Um, yeah, for a first time using them, they definitely had me smiling and the drag singing. Now I'll talk through the gear that I threw those on. Obviously being offshore, wanted to use a bit heavier gear so we could bully those fish a bit quicker, get them away from the sharks and obviously try and stop them from running into the bottom that didn't always work. Uh, this is a 10 to 20 pound Wilson Bladen Tails rod, seven foot. Uh, it's quite a stiff rod, so very fast action, which is what you want for putting a bit of action in those plastics and really getting stuck into those fish once you hook up. The reel is a 5000 ATC Virtuous and the line is also another product that I hadn't tried before. It's Siglon Advanced 20 pound. Now I found that quite good as well, cast really well, uh, seemed to hold knots nicely. Obviously very hard to determine how a braid will perform over time from just one session, but initial test session felt very good. Quite happy with it and um, we'll see how it goes. Now, after the snapper session, obviously we moved across to the squid. Um, I'm not gonna give you guys any tips on squid because I just don't know. I haven't done enough of it. But one thing I will say is this guy here, that's a game changer for me. Uh, you put a bit of bait on it, the squid hang on. You saw that, I think it was the third squid I caught, wasn't even hooked, he was just hanging on for dear life on that mullet fillet. So that's a good sign to me. Now this one is called an eggy no. And it should be called an eggy yes, because that's a big win in my books. Uh, that one is a 3.2 size there. We were fishing in about two meters of water over weed beds. Strip of mullet fillet. It really uh, did put some squid on the board for me. I don't know whether I would have caught them otherwise, but I'm just happy to catch them. And if this guy's gonna do the job for it, I'm gonna use it again and again and again. Uh, Jimmy was using this one here. This is a eggy -o live. Um, that was in the three size. That's a black, red, and greeny color there. Seemed to work quite well, although he did pull out of a few, but that's because he's got wicket keeper hands, quite heavy handed on the strike and was just pulling out. Unlucky to say the least. Um, and that's what I had in the rod holder. It only got one hit and we lost that fish as well, but that's just a nice natural color, 3.5. Just, yeah, same old. But they're all Yamashita jigs. Um, if anyone's done a bit of squid jigging, they'll know Yamashita is very well respected in the squid, in the squidding world. Uh, I know they put stacks and stacks of R&D into their jigs, and that makes me feel a lot more confident just grabbing one off the shelf and going out and feeling like I'm gonna have a chance at catching a squid. So Yamashita have always been a good thing. Now guys, if you'd like any more information on the gear I used in this video, whether it be the Molex plastics, the Siglon line, or the Yamashita jigs, head over to EJ Todd's website, www.ejtodd.com.au. They've got everything you need to know about this gear and plenty, plenty more. So head over there and check it out. If you'd like to support my channel, head over to sammyhitskyfishing.com. Got plenty of merch available there for you guys to enjoy. And if you did like or learn something from this video, make sure you give it the big thumbs up. Leave us a comment below. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing because there's heaps more fishing action coming every single week. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're out having a fish yourself and I'll catch you next week for another Sammy Hitsky fishing adventure. Cheers.